everyone, I'm Lene. Welcome to my channel, Fashionably 50 Something and Beyond. I aim to provide content that includes fashion, fashion hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, DIYs, and a little bit of cooking. And what I have for you today is a little bit of cooking. We are going to make a veggie pizza, and this is part of my What I'm Making for the 4th of July series. This is the first video in a three part series. And what you will need for this recipe is two packages of crescent rolls packages of crescent rolls. You're going to need 12 ounces of cream cheese. You're going to need one cup of mayonnaise, and that's real mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip. And you are going to need one third of a cup of diced onion, and that's what I have here. And then you're going to need, and then you're going to need a teaspoon and a half of dill weed. Okay, so the first thing that we do, we preheated our oven. Uh, you preheat your oven to what the crescent rolls say, and that says uh, heat your oven to 375, and that's what I've done. And then you just open up your crescent rolls. Okay, then you just take a spoon and pop open your crescent rolls. For this recipe, also you'll be needing vegetables, vegetables of your choice. I have carrots here, broccoli, uh, grape tomatoes that's pretty much standard and um, then whenever else you want to add like I'm going to add some green olives so then what you do is you take your crescent rolls and you flatten them out just in a sheet like this and then you spread them onto your pan now this one I break in half because we'll put um, half of the sheet along here. This is what I'm doing. So I'm putting half of the sheet here and then the other half will go along here. So I'm just pressing them into this pan. these in here and it looks like that so we have our big pizza crust and what I use for this is a big jelly roll pan okay now we're gonna pop them in the oven and the package says to cook them for 9 to 12 minutes so I'm gonna set my oven for 10 we'll check it then okay now that we have our crust in the oven we, we, are gonna, we are going to get our cream cheese mixture ready. So I have an eight ounce brick of cream cheese. And I set this on my counter for a little bit so that it would um, soften a little. Okay, so we have that. And now I'm going to use half of this one. Okay, so there's the rest of our cream cheese and now we're going to add our onion and our dill weed so we need one and a half teaspoons so there's one and a half And this pizza is really good. I make this every year for the 4th of July and people just love it. Okay, now we're gonna add our mayonnaise. Okay. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna grab a fork and we're just gonna mix this all together. I don't use a mixer, I just use a fork. Um, you just blend that all together. And this is gonna be like your sauce. Like if you were making a regular pizza, you have pizza sauce. For this, you have this cream cheese spread. And it actually is pretty easy to mix up. We 
got it all mixed. Okay, and this is what it looks like. All mixed up. Just nice and creamy. A little, a little bit lumpy. I mean, there's going to be some lumps in it. But for the most part, spreadable. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to cut my tomatoes, my grape tomatoes, in half. Okay. Just... And you can just eyeball it how much you would like to have on your pizza. Just kind of like with making a regular pizza. Just put as much as you like. So for this uh, pizza, you can see I have a container here of, it's 10 ounces of grape tomatoes. And that's going to be plenty. I'll probably have some left over. Now what I'm going to cut up some olives. done. I washed my broccoli. I checked the crescent rolls. They, the timer went off at 10 minutes, but I'm going to let them go a little bit longer just to make sure it's done right. I've also opened my can of olives, I mean my jar of olives, and I'm going to cut some of these into slices. our crescent rolls out of the oven and here is what our crescent rolls look like just one big sheet okay now we're going to let this cool and while that's cooling I am going to cut these olives just into slices Now my whole family, not everyone likes green olives, so I'm just going to put these on part of the pizza. And now what I'm going to do is just cut off some of this broccoli. I don't chop my broccoli into chunks for this pizza. I grate it with a grater because I don't like that huge piece of broccoli. I don't like, I'm not a super big fan of raw broccoli. So when you grate it onto the pizza, you, still, you get a mild broccoli flavor. And um, it's just, you, you're still getting the broccoli, but it's in a milder, uh, a milder flavor. Okay, now we are going to wait for our crust. Now we are gonna wait for our crust to cool and then we'll be adding on our sauce or our cream cheese mixture and then our vegetables. And this is what I have here. I have broccoli, tomatoes, green olives, and then here I have carrots. And we're gonna grate these as well. What I've also done is gotten the cheese ready. What is a pizza without cheese? So you put uh, shredded cheddar cheese on. You don't need this much. I just buy it in the value pack. But once we add our veggies of our choice, um, we're going to put cheese on top. Hi everyone! And now what I've done is I've taken the crescent rolls out of the oven and let them cool. So now what we're going to start with is putting our cream cheese mixture on our crust. So I'm just going to take it and just start spreading that.
done spreading our cream cheese mixture onto our crust. So now what I first start with is the broccoli. And here's what I do. I take my uh, cheese grater and I just grate it all along the pizza. I use the biggest holes on my grater, which are like that. I'll just continue grating. And this gives you the broccoli and the broccoli flavor, but it's not overpowering. Okay, I think that's enough. There's our broccoli. Now I'm going to do the same thing with carrots. I have baby carrots here. Um, I just grate them on there. So I just don't like my vegetables to be overpowering, so I just grate them. Except for like the tomatoes, of course. A little bit on the messy side. <laughs> but um, that's okay. Let's clean it. Okay, so here are the carrots. So here's our pizza with our broccoli and carrots. Now I'm gonna add the tomatoes. And I'm just gonna place these on here. Okey-dokey. I think that looks good. Okay, and here's what it looks like with the tomatoes. Now I'm just going to add a few, well I've chopped up these green olives, I'm going to add these to like half of the pizza. Just sprinkle them on there. Okay, so there's all our veggies on there. Okay, now that we put all our vegetables on our pizza, we have our tomatoes, our broccoli, our carrots, and green olives. We are going to sprinkle some cheese on here. And I use sharp cheddar. And we'll just go ahead and sprinkle some cheese. Okay, this is it. That's how you make a veggie pizza. And now we're gonna cut our pizza. Easy to cut. Just take it out with a spatula. And that's how easy it comes out of the pan. And here we have a nice appetizer for the 4th of July. This will be going with our fried chicken and other salads that we have. Okay, now we'll try a piece. Mmm. Really good. I love that cream cheese mixture. It makes a great summer dinner. The boost is exactly what we're having for dinner tonight. And that's how you make a veggie pizza. It's all nice and cut. And we are going to have this on 4th of July with our fried chicken and all our other salads and desserts. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll try this recipe. I will link it down below. I'll provide the recipe down below in my description box. And if you are interested in where I got this shirt, this is from Soul Flower. It was made in the USA and it's in my Made in the USA haul. I will link that at the end of this video. 
And if you are interested in decorating a tear tray, I also have a video for that that I will place at the end of this video. So I, I hope that you enjoyed uh, making this veggie pizza with me, and I hope you find it as delicious as I do. Join me again. I will be posting another video this week in our 4th of July series of what I'm making for the 4th of July. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day. Bye.